We built this place. We built it for free so that you could sit around a campfire somewhere in your fake global village roasting people like marshmallows, cutting down all of the trees around you, polluting our minds with your addictions, trashing our futures, all in the name of your profit. All the while watching your watches for the time because time is money and there's never enough. Well, time's up, Holmes. Your time's up. And it's time for us to come together as brothers and sisters, as a team, to repair our collective souls from within while we seek reparations from without. Welcome to Mr. Robinson's class. This is our U.S. history thematic unit we're going to do on bringing it all together. We're going to bring together post-Civil War Reconstruction, the Civil Rights Movement, and contemporary American problems. And we're going to analyze how the past is connected to the present. And we're going to be looking at a social justice question. Are blacks old reparations and how should they be made? while we also look at the concept of reverse reparations, that is how money is being taken from education and put into prisons, which winds up giving you this little calculation here. 30 over six equals five to one. $30,000 is spent every year in California to keep somebody in prison, while only 6,000 is spent per student per year. That translates into five black men in prison for every one in college. Now, I wanna ask the class, does anybody have any Thoughts about reparations. So the impact on our ancestors is affect is the way is affected the way the black community is today. And that's the way I see it. I come from the land of prejudice buildings, unlimited killings, where blacks is marked for death, better known as the projects, where junkies and crackheads dwell, though I owe to it my success, where blacks is survival of the fittest. reparations and I think um, the speech that um, was given today gave a highlight of a lot of the reasons why. I think a lot of the profit made in this country, some of the larger corporations and some of the wealth that was passed on generation after generation came from unpaid labor of African American people and I think that, that um, in a lot of ways not only monetarily that black people need to be compensated. 75 percent of the money should be focused on the masses of the people, the people that's on welfare, the people that's below the poverty line, the people that have poor schools and uh, poor hospitals that don't have health care. So I work in the area of health and race and reparations, and one of the things that just directly uh, African Americans, black Americans, die at a higher rate, have more mortality, and it's all traceable back to the slave health deficit and traceable through Jim Crow area. And without a large amount of money, i.e. reparations, there's no way to repair that health deficit. And I think it's important that America uh, uh, recognizes that we're not, they're not giving us anything, but we're owed because we worked hard our ancestors worked hard, and as a result, we deserve reparations. The issue of slavery was uh, certainly a tragic one, but unresolved to this day, and continues to exist in a number of different forms. And so, uh, for that fact alone, that it continues to evolve into newer forms, we need we need to get a hold of, of the issue of the issue of kinds of slavery and I think reparations would be the issue that sort of brings it to a kind of a halt and uh, at least 
let the, the world know that this is a serious issue and, uh, and that something is old when people are commodified and treated like property. Our labor made this country wealthy and great, and it was labor that was never comp compensated. And so blacks were made poor during slavery, and others benefited from the value of our work. In addition, we were psychologically damaged by all of the years of slavery and the discrimination that followed it. And it is uh, a tenant of international law that when a government commits major uh, human rights crimes against sections of its own population, the government is responsible for making the victims whole, responsible for compensating the victims, repairing the victims. So the term reparations means to repair. The compensation ought to be based on need. Those uh, most, most damaged, uh, those in greatest need, should be the ones to receive the resources to repair themselves. And we, we, we don't have to talk about money. We can talk about programs, um, uh, education, economic development, the restoration of our communities. When I say we don't have to talk about money, I mean we don't have to talk about checks to people. But better schools, better opportunity, free opportunity to go to college, uh, all of that.